Hey friends, welcome back to another video at Back Skills. In today's video, we'll be learning about a very important block that is the broadcast block. So the broadcast block is nothing small. It is one of the greatest blocks that you will need in any future codes that you're gonna do. Example for the geometry dash, which I think you might be planning to do, or any very cool platformer, or anything similar to that. So for that all, you will need the broadcast message. Now, even if we are making a small, simple chasing game, or the um, catch the apples more deliberation we will need the broadcast you see even the smallest games you can imagine the broadcast is sometimes used if you try to use them in different ways so now your question might be but how do i use it yeah that's why i am here in this video talking telling you all the things you need to know to learn about the broadcast block and its varieties. So let's start without further ado. Now, when you think about the broadcast block, what I what my mind thinks of is the messaging. So this messaging process can be called as broadcast too. Now, if you have any other thing to tell instead of messaging, that's my answer, comment it down now by pausing this video. Okay, so if you have just paused this video and on the back after commenting, I really appreciate it. Now let's go back with today's video. So, um, now when we are sending a message to a person, it is really simple. We can just use the access of our phone by messages, WhatsApp, or anything else. We get a notification um to view our messages now this notification also can go for sprites but it won't really go ting tong but the, we can use the block for this now this is mr circle and mr rectangle so mr circle wants to tell something to mr square now remember that mr circle and mr square are sprites and they do not have communication cells that are phones so or any other device that you can communicate with now this is a place where we use the broadcast message block. We can use, uh, we can just type in something for the broadcast message in the new messages, and that will directly go to, um, it'll directly notify Mrs. or Mr. Square, or, yeah, Mr. Rectangle, and in this way they they can communicate with each other. You see how useful the Mm, the uh, you know the broadcast block is so now if I'm going to another example the broadcast message now if cat flying wants to send a message to the crab he needs to use the broadcast message and notify the crab um, using the broadcast message this way they can also communicate like we communicate in phone devices now you see how easy this is to understand it now the part number two is how do we use it how do we arrange it you see whenever I click a key the sprites change this is none other trick, but the broadcast message is trick. You see, if I go to Mr. Broadcasters instead of Mr. Broadcaster 2 Sprite, I have a when I receive costume block. But next costume, who has made this next costume? Who has given it to Mr. Broadcaster? Well, Mr. Backdrop has given it to Mr. Broadcaster. So what I've used over here is when any R key is pressed, broadcast next costume. So when I receive next costume, 
I will switch my costume. This is a very simple trick we have given over here. And it is a miracle to see how perfect it works. Now, do you see how we have used it? So all we have done is go to the events block. Over here, the last three blocks, when I receive uh, the new message, let's say new message will be, you can just type in any message. So how to get this new message is you have to take the broadcast or any of these three blocks. So these are the pile of the blocks in the broadcasting team. So when I receive, you can click over here, new message. You can type any new message or you can just click over here for a new message. You can type any new message or in the third one too. And there you have a new message. So you can use new messages in any of the three blocks you want. So, the first block that is when I receive is used for the receiver of the message. When the receiver receives that message, this action should be done by the receiver. That's what this box, uh, this block does, as I've shown over here. Now, the next one is broadcast block. Now, what this broadcast block does is, it'll just broadcast the message as like it won't need to wait or do anything after it broadcasts the message but when i'm coming to broadcast and wait the the um, broadcast will be sent uh, the message will be sent to the other sprite and that sprite who's the sender or the giver will have to wait and stop doing any action it is doing currently so i hope that you guys have understood how this works by the process of the thing i've showed you like the sprite moving um and how do we use all the three that's all you want to know about the um about the broadcast block and if you have any other doubt or anything else please do comment down and one comment a video is uploaded so thanks for watching this video hope you have um hope you understood how the how the yeah how the broadcast block works which is a very great block to use in scratch please try to use it and if you don't know how to use it in any game comment down i'll be surely making a game using the broadcast block so thanks for watching this video see you in another video and hope you had fun do subscribe like and comment down and do share this video so that you use the broadcast way somewhere the other way so bye friends see you in another video